Boy, you guys can start the power really cheap with the... All right. So let's start this over. So what you need to do when you're doing power, let's make sure you own it. And I probably do, but let's sell it and start over. Then we'll start this over. All right. So, tutorial on power company take two. <laughs> All right. I own the Starbucks, and I need power for it. So, to get power for Starbucks to sell over time, what I need to do is have a power company, which I do have one on this side of the map called Southern Company. What I need to do is purchase it. So I'll buy it for 1.537. All right, so we'll go over there. Let's see if I can, I'm already there, so I don't can't go over there. All right, so this is your Southern Company power plant. Pretty typical looking power plant, which is really awesome model he did. Um, so what you do is you got these slots over here. You have eight of them all the way along the, the back side of your power plant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy each module and show you guys how to do it. No, you do not need a battery yet. You can use batteries over here, but that is in a later, later option of the game that I'm not even two yet. It won't be for months. All right, so what I want to do is I want to purchase a module for this power company. So I'm going to start with coal first. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to slot one right here. I kind of numbered them on auto drive, so I, this is number one for me. What you want to do is you want to put it in the power trigger. This is the power trigger here. Make sure you don't have it backwards like this or sideways. The module has to fit in just like this. Right into this spot. Because this is where your power is going to drop into the trigger once it's produced. So once you get the coal there, so what I'm going to do is see, okay, now I have seven open spots. Okay, so I want to go crazy and I'm going to put in a I'm going to put a diesel module in there. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing. I'm going to put it in the trigger. You don't obviously want to make sure it's crooked or out here. Just make sure you got it square in the, in the trigger. So now you have your diesel. So then you want to do is you want to put in your, if you want to use wood chips or salvage is you want to put it this in here same same thing you want to make sure it's in the trigger I'm gonna yep just like so okay so now what I'm gonna do is I want to put the product in so the product for so coal is obviously coal so let's get some coal So let's um let's back this up in here. And there are auto drive routes to the coal ones. I know the coal ones will work for sure, not so sure on the diesel or the wood chips. You might have to do modifications to your routes to get or at least the endings to get it to work with the wood chips and the diesel. So you put your coal in. Now what I want to do is I'm going to get some wood chips and we'll get to the bio module going here. 
So you would bring wood chips over. I'm cheating, but I don't have any barging. Or I did that already <laughs> once. So what you do is to do the same thing. You put wood chips in this. It's a good way to get rid of all those extra wood chips you have on the map. Make power with them. Donut Twitch, how you doing? So yeah, you want to put your wood chips in this one. See, now it's already working. You see the smoke coming out. Same with the the coal. While that's unloading there, let's go get my diesel. So let's put diesel in this one. Skirvin Nebia, how you doing? All right, so what we're going to do is take this over. So this is this is the power plant take two tutorial. If you don't succeed once, try, try again. So what we'll do is we'll put the diesel in the TESO module, get that one going. And then there's two different ways you want to get into your menu for Global Company. I like to do it the old-fashioned way and use Control G, but Dave has these um, really nice R triggers now, especially for people who play on um, servers so that you don't get stuck in a trigger. You can go to the icons that are in here, which I will show you right now. Oh, so I'm like right out here. That's hilarious. I thought he would like spawn you right in front of the building. So we'll go into the building. I'll show you the R menus for these and we'll turn these all off. Since I only have Starbucks, I don't want to run anything else. So what I'll do is, is I'm going to go along here and make sure these are all disabled. Okay, so that trigger isn't working. Why isn't that one working? So, cool. So if you see this, none of these, well now that one you worked and that one doesn't. I'll have to talk to Dave about that. Why are those three not working? So this one here works. So what I want to do is I want to make sure this is off. So turn this off. Because I don't have that one running. I'll go along here and make sure these are all off. I'm not running the museum. This is Starbucks. Let's make sure that one's on. Yep. Make sure it's off. Same with this one. Make sure they're all off before you start this up. Otherwise, you won't get power to your factory that you own. Make sure you have all the factories that you don't own off. Oh, come on, Dave. All right. All right, so I got that all off. So what I want to do <coughs> is to get power to that Starbucks. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to See how it says the input is zero? Let's fast forward a little bit. Let's go 25, 30 minutes and see if you see the power jumping out of there. Yep. Did you see that? So now you, I have power, which I went a little bit, two hours. That's okay. I wanted to get closer to um, harvest anyway. So let's visit Starbucks. And now we'll look, I have 17,000 power. So that's how you do power, guys. Make sure you buy the power plant. Um, make sure you do the modules. Let's see here. Let's go back over here and look. Make sure you have all the modules that are in the trigger. See where you got all the power that's in the trigger. So the power comes from those modules, goes into the trigger, and then goes to your factories. So, if you guys have any questions, come visit me on my Twitch stream at xman1971 or Dan, 